Welcome back to Global Kirky 2014. We are backstage at the Journal Theater and we are joined by an illustrious guest. This is Juan de Marcos, uh, Cuba's, I think, greatest ambassador ever for Cuban music. And uh, he's just come off the stage and has found a few minutes to spend with us here. I don't know where to start. Let's start with your current project, the Afro-Cuban All-Star. Well, the Afro-Cuban All-Star is a band that I created during the times of the Buenos Aires Society Club. There's a confusion, you know, because uh, we created only one band in order to uh, record three albums. The first one was the A Toa Cuba Le Gusta, which was a Grammy nominee in uh, 1998. The second one was a tiny bit more traditional album, which was the Buena Vista Sosa Club. And then the third album was the first solo album of Ruben Gonzalez. But the band that I looked for in order to record the three albums was the Afro Cuban All Stars. So in 1997, we started promoting the album and performing the music of the three albums with a band called the Afro Cuban All Stars. And then the, the, the band that you can see in the film, the Vin Vendors film, is the Afro Cuban All Stars, under the name of Buena Vista Sosa Club because everything was the same at the beginning. And uh, these Afro-Cuban stars that uh, performed here in uh, Albuquerque is a new one with uh, younger guys. And uh, we are trying to, to bring young guys to the, to the project because this is the only way that we, you can preserve something. You know, because uh, I'm getting older. I used to be the younger one in the band. I'm, uh, I'm 60 years old. So it's necessary to bring young guys in order to preserve what we get. Actually, we have a presence in the world. We, we are performing normally about 60, 70 concerts a year, which is great in these times. And uh, I hope that in the future, we are going to have much more the princess of the Cuban music worldwide. Well, you are the ambassador. Um, how does that uh, make you feel? And how do you, uh, how do you feel about that role of being so associated uh, with a country, with a genre, with a type of music? I, I'm really happy. I think that I'm realized. First, I had the chance to give to the, an opportunity to the old guys, the friends of my, my dad. My dad was a great singer of the 40s and 50s with the band of Arsenio Rodriguez. And I gave a chance to them and they became uh, kind of pop stars. I remember Ibrahim Ferrer, who was really famous, and Ruben Gonzalez, and all, Pio Leiva, Raul Planas. And uh, I'm really happy. I think that wherever we perform, we are really appreciated, and the people respect the music that we are performing, and the people know that what we are playing is the spirit of our country, and this is great. The people. Shouts Cuba, Cuba. Yeah, this is uh, amazing. The state of Cuba. I mean, it's, uh, I don't want to talk politics, but do you want to talk a little bit about? Uh, oh, yeah, tell me about uh, what's your uh, what's your sense of where things are right now? Well, they are changing a tiny bit the things step by step. This is the only way that they can make uh, really changes in the in the in the policy of our country. Actually, they are allowing much more the the free. Uh, let's say, uh, the free economy, in certain sense, everything is controlled by the government. They are afraid of losing the power. This, this is the main, the main thing. So they are not giving that chance to the private uh, people to really, uh, make, uh, to really make it. But I think that step by step, they are going to be opening the doors and in the future, in about, let's say, 10, 15 years, everything is going to be better. I don't think that we're going to have something different during the next 15 years. I don't think so. Perhaps in about five years, we're going to have elections, free elections. Perhaps the party, we are going to have three different parties, but they are going to be the same people. But this is the beginning. This is the beginning. I think that in about 15, 20 years, we are going to change everything, and uh, we're going to get a free economy, which is the only way that we have to develop the country, really with, uh, with all the, with the economy and the control, under the control of the, the government, you, can, you cannot make it. 
Of course, you need the concerting control of the government through the taxes, through a good tax system, in order to get some money, in order to support the people of less income. But you cannot make it controlling completely the economy. It doesn't work. And I've been living in Cuba for years, and I know that it doesn't work. And I'm a left-wing guy, completely. I'm a left-wing guy. I do believe in the independence of the people. We don't want the Americans back in my country. We would like to be free, absolutely free, but with a free economy as well, yeah, but no, with certain control of the yeah. government in a way that yeah. we can, uh, let's say, uh, support the people of less income. That's what we're looking at. I'm thinking in something like uh, Scandinavia or uh, Canada. Okay. It's socialism. This is the real one. Mm -hmm. Well, I cannot uh, thank you enough for finding the time to spend a few minutes here with us. And I know much. Albuquerque loved your performance. Uh, I loved it. We were out there dancing. Uh, and so all the very best to you. And uh, Thank you very much. Thank you again. Thank you indeed. Thank you. This is Global Kirky 2014. Floyd Vasquez here. Our producer is Paul Evans. Thank you for watching.